Everyone, welcome to the class. This is Abby here. Very excited to speak with you all about John and Amy. I'm still laughing from my last class. That was awesome. You guys are such a good group of students. Hopefully we have a few new ones join us as well. My name is Abby from Vancouver, Canada. Very nice to see everybody today. And when you want to join the class, just go ahead and click on that button at the top. If you're a Verbling Premium member, of course, you can um, come in right now. However, two minutes past the hour, everyone else is welcome to join. Okay, so go ahead and click on the Join Class button to get in the conversation about John and Amy. It should be lots of fun. John and Amy are going on their first date. Should bring some good conversation. Hi, Jerome. I see you there in the chat. Very nice to have you with us. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the document into the chat box for us. There. Hi, Miguel. How are you today? Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Hi. Hi. How's it going, Miguel? How are you well. today? Uh, very well. <laughs> I'm, is the my first class here? Uh, I, with Verbling? With you. Oh, uh, with, with me. With, with you, yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Valencia. Ah, mucho gusto. <laughs> well, gracias. Thank nice you. Nice to have you with us. Miguel, that's a beautiful picture. That reminds me of home. Where Where did you see <laughs> that picture? Oh yeah, Google Images is is an <laughs> iceberg, I think. Google Images, yes, it is an <laughs> iceberg. It's a very beautiful picture. Hi, Koji, welcome back. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm still laughing. Our, our last class. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> no, no, I I had left. I you had left, left us. Uh, Why did you leave? Oh, uh, I need to go to get a cup of water. Okay. Yes, my I water glass is officially empty, so <laughs> yeah. I need some water too. <laughs> too hot here. Excellent. Well, it's good to see you again, Koji. Hi, Igor. Welcome back. Hi. Good job last hour. Thank you. <laughs> you did good work. You guys were lots of fun. Today we're going to be talking about idioms. Do you remember the story of John and Amy, Igor? Yes. I was on the last two. Excellent. Um, part of his story. So you'll be able to give us a good review, I hope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, it's Hugo. How are you today? Hugo. Hugo Arango, can you hear me? Looks like you might have a problem with your microphone. Hey, Mina. Hey. Good to see you again. Uh. Oh, Mina, I can't hear you. It's your microphone. Sorry. That's okay. Hopefully your connection stabilizes. I need your help with that, that name again. Could you type that name into the chat box for me again? Yes. There we go. Thank you very much, Mina. I can always rely on you. <laughs> Hi, Ria. Ria. Ria Sen. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm really good. I love when there's another lady in the class with me. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from India. From India. Beautiful. What part of India do you live in? I live in eastern part of India. In the eastern part. Very good. And where did you learn English? I learned English in my school. In your school. Fantastic. Are you in school still or do you work now? What do you do? I'm studying engineering right now. Studying engineering at a university? Yeah. 
Fantastic. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to have you in the class with us. Thank you. Next over we have, oh, it's Samuel. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm going pretty good. What about you? Very good. It's good to see you again. How have you been? All right. Great. And you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Actually, I am leaving tonight on a vacation, so I am in a great mood today. <laughs> How many days you will not be? I am going to be gone for 13 days. What? What? You must be joking. <laughs> no. Don't you want me to go on vacation, Igor? Oh, of course, no. <laughs> <laughs> You only start uh, one month uh, here on Verblink. I know. They're very kind to let me go. <laughs> it's very sad. We will well, miss you. I will keep in touch on Facebook. I'll make sure I... Maybe I'll send pictures of my vacation. Okay. See, Mina is very kind. Mina, Mina thinks that I deserve one month. Yes, for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> I must look like I need a vacation. I'm starting to look sad. Okay. Um, Abdel Mohsen. Yes. You're back with us. Hello. Are you ready to rock? I think so. Good. I hope your connection is stable for you. <laughs> I hope so. Um. Abdel Mohsen, where are you? Are you in your house? Yes. What is that behind you? It is a tent. A tent? Yeah. What is behind the tent? Nothing. Just a wall. A wall? Yeah. I think it is a curtain. I don't know the place here. I will search for you. Okay. I think it's a curtain, but if it's not, you tell me, okay? Okay, okay. Hi, Ogre. Hello, Chef. How are you today? Uh, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I think I know you. Have I had you before? No. Ah, uh, first time? Yeah. Don't, eat, don't eat your microphone. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? From Kurdistan. Okay. Sorry, where? Kurdistan. It's a region country beside Iraq. I think beside maybe... Iraq, it's country. Oh, I've never heard of it before. Uh, Canadians are terrible with their geography, I'll tell you that much. We're terrible with geography. But it's great to have you in the class, Ogre. Thank you for coming in. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Ugo, can you hear me now? Hugo. Hmm. Todavía. I can't hear you, Ugo. Sorry. Maybe it's your microphone, your connection. I'm not sure, but maybe you could um, spend a minute to try and fix that. Sorry about that. All right. Well, that's everybody in the class. Let's get started. I'm going to put the document again into the chat. Yes, Samuel, I speak Spanish. I speak terrible Spanish. <laughs> Everyone have the document? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start off with our warm-up questions. Maybe we can get Ria. Ria, could you read number one out of the warm-up questions on the document? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, warm up, answer, and discuss these questions in pairs or as a class. Number one, what are good things to talk about on a first date? Excellent. Very good reading, good pronunciation. So, Ria, what is one, one topic that you think is a good topic to talk about on your first date? I think on the first date we can talk about our hobbies. <laughs> hobbies, fantastic. Very, very good. What about you, Manuel? What other 
first or what other things can you talk about on a first date? Miguel? Yes, uh, I think uh, it's a good idea to to ask if if she has uh, boyfriend or not. <laughs> is if is it, if it's a uh, the first da date, it's a good idea. Not directly ask ask directly, but <laughs> I want to know it. <laughs> Uh, don't you think you should ask that before the first date? Yes, uh, also <laughs> it's, a, it's a good idea. <laughs> <Be bad. laughs> Miguel, what if you were on a date with a girl and you said, oh, by the way, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> and she said, oh, yeah. What would you say? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, we can we can be uh, <laughs> good friends. <laughs> Koji, what would you say? Oh yeah, uh, I have a boyfriend. I, <laughs> I don't oh, know. Okay. <laughs> I will no, say no, never yeah, mind. Maybe I can say me too. <laughs> Sorry. I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> You guys are terrible. <laughs> terrible. You start. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's the, we have Koji, you're from Brazil, right? Yes, from Brazil. And Miguel, where are you from? From Spain. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to make a huge generalization there. <laughs> Be careful with those Brazilian men. No, people are good here. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes, I just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, me too. Excellent. Igor, what could you do for number two? Could you do number two for us? Who do you spend time with? Um, what uh, is question, uh, which question is about? Uh, it's pretty general, is isn't it? Yes, uh, it depends from what point of view if you look at this question. Maybe you personally, in your life, on your weekends or on your off time, when you're not working, who do you spend time with? Who do you enjoy with, the company of? Yes, with my friends. And I spend so? time with my friends. Yes, I spend time with my friends. Excellent, with very my good. my girlfriend. And what do you like to do with your friends and your girlfriend? What do you like to do with them? What kinds of activities? To go to the parks, uh, to disco, I like very much. And also in the bars. You sound like a party animal. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, I like parties. A par yeah, a party animal. Yes, uh, it's uh, something normal. Uh, we are young and uh, we love to uh, go outside. Why not, right? Yes, of course. Excellent, good answer. So let's say you're on a date with somebody, Ogre. Ogre? Oh. Yes, teacher. You are yes. on a you are on a date with a girl. And she mm -hmm. says to you, "What are some of your favorite things?" Favorite? It's asking for my favorite things, my yeah. in my love. Yeah. Let's say you're on a date with a girl, and that's her question for you. What are some of your favorite things? It's reading, reading. Sorry. Reading. Reading. My ah, yes. What do you like to read? Uh, psychologist, because I'm psychologist. Okay, very good. That's what you like to read. I think she might be nervous. Hi, yes, right. <laughs> so let's say you want to sound really exciting. You're trying to make yourself sound more exciting than you really are. What What would you say? What would you say, um, Mina? If a girl asks you, "What are some of your favorite things?" and you want to sound like you're really exciting, what might you say? Um, I would, I would uh, first, uh, you know, get in her brain and know what, what she like. You know, uh, collecting information about her before first date. You know, you know, reconnaissance stage to get what it's 
had her head then uh, i uh, you know <laughs> make uh, it's like uh, come down okay so you want to get in her head before the first date yes how might you do that collecting information from uh, her friends or people around her Whoa, Ugo, we hear you. We hear you. Okay, so that's interesting, Mina. Now. Okay, sorry. You, that's, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. He was testing us. I, I had so many problems with this. It's my that's okay. Here. It's nice to see you, Ugo. Where are you from? I'm from Guatemala. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Thanks. Sorry. It's very nice. For the interruption. Do you that's okay. Do you have the document? There it is in the chat. You can open it up. Uh, no, I haven't. I don't have it. I'll put it in the Google chat for you. Do you see it there? Uh, okay. Yes, I. Perfect. Yes. Let's head over. Okay, yeah. Let's head Continue. over to Samuel. Samuel, how do you think a girl would feel? If she heard that the man was going around and collecting information about her before she went on a date with someone. All right. Honestly, I don't know. Um, maybe she would be um, surprised about it. I don't know. She might be surprised. Okay. Do you think yeah. she'd feel? Do you think she'd feel like um, attracted to that person? Um, please repeat, I don't understand you. Do you think she might be attracted? Do you think she'd say, oh, I like him. He's looking for information about me. Or do you think she might be afraid? I think that she will be afraid because it's a little weird when a person's collecting information <laughs> from you. It might be considered a little bit weird, but Mina says... <laughs> Mina, we love you. Don't hate us. We are just having fun with you. <laughs> Mina says that he is he's like um, very stealthy about it. He's very sneaky. She would never know. Yes. Excellent. That's great. Ria, how would you feel if you found out a man was looking? He wanted to know more about you, so he asked your friends. Would you feel flattered? Yes. See, Mina, it works. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ria, that's great. Chicks dig it. Chicks Mina dig Ruth. it. <laughs> What's going on in here? Chicks dig it. You guys are too much for me. Okay, let's move over to number four. Hugo, read number four for us. Hugo. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Tell me. Can you read number four? Um. Papa. Papa. <laughs> sorry. My son is with me. Yeah. That's okay. Can you read number four? Uh, excuse me. I didn't hear what page we are. Number one. Under oh, okay. warm up questions. Number oh, four. Okay, what? number four. What adjective no what activities do you like to do? Very good. So let's say you're on a date and you ask or a girl asks you, so what activities do you like, Hugo? What might you say? Don't be shy. Hugo, I'm asking you. <laughs> Igor? Yes? Maybe you could answer for us. Mm, I would uh, ask uh, that girl, but what activities do, do you like to do you? Okay, and what would you hope to hear? What would you want to hear her say? Mm, whatever. I, I don't mind to hear... Um, any um, uh, all kinds of activities. 
at anything. There's nothing that you yeah. would hear that would maybe make you feel like, oh, she's not for me. Except no. I, it's something norm normal that um, a girl maybe have a, uh, has another activities um, that I have. Football, football. Excellent. Very good. Let's go down to number five. Um, I'm going to try this again. I have to scroll up and see the name. Mm -hmm. Abdul Mohsen. <laughs> yes. Hello. Can, can you read number five for us? Okay, I will. Who do you have a lot in common with? Who? I don't know meaning common. Can you tell me? To have in common, to have similar traits or qualities. Qualities, likes, dislikes, hobbies. Excuse me. To be the same. Um, Ogre, just make sure you turn your mic. I'm just going to mute that. So, um, Abdul Mohsen, you have the same dislikes or likes as somebody, something in common, to be the same. So, who do you have things in common with? All I hear is breathing. Can everyone hear me right now? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm loud. Yes, yes. I'm too loud? No, no it's okay. Clear. clear and loud. Mina's sighing. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to move on to our next question. I'm very, very sorry. Let's head down to um, some of the vocabulary that we see here. We have a list of 10 different idioms or phrasal verbs. Oh, <laughs> 10 different expressions here that we're going to discuss. So we'll read the story, we'll discuss the idioms, we'll use them in our own lives, maybe our own circumstances or situation, okay? But as usual, because we have nine students, we're going to go all the way down to page seven. Page seven, everybody. Whoops. Page seven. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can you hear? Okay, now it's good. Let's continue. Page seven. There was a little bit of a, a freeze there. So page seven has the teacher answer key, but that's just because we don't have enough time to try and find where things are. Let's start with number one. Okay, Miguel Garcia. So yes, I hear. Because the connect is not. <laughs> Can you read number one on page seven, Miguel? Uh, page seven. Um, number one, uh, the uh, teacher and were gay. gay? Exactly. But okay. number, look, hay que buscar el número uno. Okay? Ah, okay, number okay. One. Sorry. Okay. John, uh, I'm glad you were free tonight. Okay, very good. So, what does that mean to be free? Uh, to be uh, uh, available or to go out? Uh. Excellent, to be available. So how might you ask a girl out using that expression, free? What could you say, Miguel? Uh, um, are you... Will, will you free, will you be free uh, this, uh, tonight? Or? To go out or? Absolutely fantastic. Will you be free okay. tonight? That's exactly correct. That is what you would Thank say. You. Very good. Let's go over to number two. Um, Mina, number two. Okay. Um, yeah, me too. Why don't we go get to know each other a little better? Mm, boring. Boring? <laughs> Why is that boring? Kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> so to get to know each other, what is she? What invitation is she making? She uh, what? 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 What is she inviting John to do? 
you know what, talking to her a little bit about yourself. Okay, so we might say, um, you know, I have some good friends that I get to know. Maybe, um, you know, I get to know a, a girl or a girlfriend. But what, how is what she is saying different from that? What is she inviting John to do? To have a date. Exactly. And to learn more about her in what kind of setting? Sorry, could you repeat? To learn more about her in a romantic way is what she's yeah. saying. Right? And you're right. That is something you would say on a date, Igor. Very good. So, um, Mina. Yes. Why is it important to get to know somebody that you were on a date with? Why is that important? Because you should test uh, the other uh, person to see if he's uh, you know uh, good enough to go out with, and he's not you know uh, a smuggler or a thief or a killer <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it would be very. Yeah, one time I went on a date with a smuggler. It was no good. No good. <laughs> <laughs> really. No, of course not. You didn't get to know each other. I said, you're a smuggler? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you're so honest. So you. <laughs> Ogre, number three. Okay, number three. Okay, I know you like movies. What the hell do you like? Excellent. So what kind of information does John want to learn about Amy? He says he knows that she likes the movies and he's just in her. What else do her what uh, what else she likes? Okay. She's asking him what else she likes, so what does he want to know about her? Why might he ask that question, thinking of future dates or getting to know her better? Yes, I think he is asking to have uh, some other um, se temas to um, talk about themes, topics, themes, topics, topics, yes. That's really good hmm? to talk about in in future dates. Excellent, very good. And Igor, why might that information be useful for him in the future? Why might that be useful for him? Mm, to know about the, um, that girl taste and to know if they are um, good partners and you know, good, uh, um, they have in common something. Yes. To have an interesting conversation. Excellent, very good. And Koji, how might John take that information and use it in the future? He would invite her to watch movies, to go to the cinema. Excellent. So let's say you go out on a date with a girl and you ask her, what else do you like? And she says, I love animals. I love looking at animals. What might you do in the future? Oh, buy a cat to her. <laughs> buy a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Give her a cat. Give hey. her a cat. Yeah. Maybe he can answer. Uh, uh, <laughs> and if you like animals, I'm going to like you. <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> you were totally screwed. There's interesting conversation going on in the chat here, that's for sure. Mina, oh, if she's afraid of a cat, yeah. So you could buy her a cat. That would be a little bit presumptuous that she would want a cat, right? What else could you do, Marcel? Oh, sorry, Miguel, what could you do if, she, if you found out that she really liked animals? Mm, uh, do you want to go to the zoo or to have uh, coffee <laughs> in the zoo? At the coffee, Excellent. Uh, to spend coffee. the night in the zoo. <laughs> spend the night in the zoo. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Igor, can you, is that even possible? No, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mina would take her for a night with the alligators. That sounds a little <laughs> bit scary. Okay, so you would want to do something that's relative to what she liked doing. What if she told you that she loved music? She likes music. What would you say? Um, I can't believe how difficult this name is for me. What's the name? Abdu Motion. Yes, yeah, what, teacher. <laughs> yes, what would you do if she told you that she liked music? What kind of date would you take her on? Uh, to the rock. To where? I will uh, take it uh, to uh, the rock. What is that? Uh, team uh, music. Okay, very good. Is it live music? Is it live? Yeah. Okay, very good. What What else might you do? Ria, do you like to go to live music? Oh, Ria's dropped. Very good. Let's continue with number four. Maybe we could get Ahmed Fatani. Could you read number four for us on page seven of this document? Can I answer? Can I answer? Yes. Number four. Oh, you want to read number four? Yeah, if you, if I might. Sure, go ahead. Read number four for us. Number four, uh, to hang out. Uh, meaning uh, to spend time with someone. Is it okay. right? We're actually, we're on page seven. Seven? Okay. Abdel Mohsen. Yes. We are on page seven of the document, okay? So page seven and look for number four. Okay. Uh, I like reading the book, right? Continue, that's it. Uh, I like reading books, uh, riding my bike, and dancing. Fantastic, very good. So she likes reading books, riding her bike, and dancing. Abdel Mohsen, do you like those activities? Uh, I'm not sure with the uh, reading book. I'm not sure uh, read a lot. Sometimes. Uh, I'm sorry, your your microphone, I cannot hear you very good. Maybe it's just me. I don't know if everybody else can hear you, but I can't hear you very well. I said uh, I don't uh, read a lot. I don't read a lot. What about riding your bike? Uh, some, sometime I like it because uh, this makes me fun. Yes, it is fun. It is interesting. Now, do you think riding your bike or going dancing is a good idea for a date? Sometimes. Sometimes. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that with us. Ria. Ria, are you with us? Ah, she's having connection problems, I think. Okay, Amdi. Amdi, are you with us? We are dropping like flies today on Google Hangouts. <laughs> I'm going to have to head back to... Ahmed, are you there? Yeah, I am here, yeah. Are you following along in the document? Do you know where we are? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, the Read number last, five. Uh, sentence. Yes, you are, we are now in number five. Okay. Uh, John? I have two left feet, but I like riding my bike and reading is fun. We should Ex go. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, sorry. No, continue. Continue. Okay. We should go for a bike ride sometime. Okay. Very good. So, what activity appeals to John? Uh, okay. Uh, he maybe he can't he can't dance because he said I have uh, two left feet. Awesome. Yeah. But uh, he likes uh, riding uh, his bike and reading. 
Excellent. So tell me, why does having two left feet mean that he doesn't like to dance? Amdi, what do you think? I've just joined your group now. I, I don't know what's uh, going on. What's going on? So, MD, if I, if it, we're looking at the document here, and yeah. John says, I have two left feet. Do you know what that means? Two left feet. Two left feet. Maybe he uh, can dance or uh, he, he hates dancing. Exactly. He hates dancing. Yeah, and yeah. he can't. He's not very good at it. Yeah. So why does that expression mean that? Why does it mean that he's a bad dancer if he has two left feet? Explain it. Thank you, Igor. <laughs> Can you explain that for us? Who would like to explain the expression, I have two left feet? He's a bad dancer. Um, move very awkward, you know, when he's awesome. standing, move awkward. He is awkward to move awkwardly. That is perfect. So if you had two left feet, you might be a little bit, like, uncomfortable. You can't dance, right? Excellent, excellent job. Let's head over to number six. Number six with Koji. Koji, could you read number six for us? I'll try because my connection is not good. Number six, uh, Amy. Sounds great. So, get you hang out. Hang out. What does that mean, Koji? To go out, uh, to go around. To out, to go out, and to go around. Is that? Yes, that's correct. Very good. So where do you like to hang out? Jason, Paul. Where do you like to hang out? Uh, <laughs> Hi, Jason. Oh, can you hear me? Can you read me? I can see you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can hear <laughs> you. Ah, okay. He looks funny. <laughs> Go, Goku. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you know, Goku. it looks like you like to hang out with the rock stars. Uh, in the in the home oh. party. Where? Where in do you like party. to hang out? Party at night. At the party. At night. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Jason. You've got great hair. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet <laughs> you too. Thank you for coming in. Number seven. Let's go to Amdi. Amdi, number seven. Can you read it? I think I muted your microphone, so you'll need to unmute it. Okay. Number seven. John, I'm glad you were free tonight. Number seven. Sorry, I like going to the park of the local cafes. Excellent. So what kind of things could you do at the park or the local cafes? What kind of activities might you do there? Park, this is um, uh, landscape. This is um, something you can uh, run, something you can... Um, you can also, you can, uh, you can have a barbecue, okay? Mm-hmm. Or... Uh, local cafes uh, just sitting and uh, have a drink have a drink excellent yeah very good so the park can be you know many different things Ugo why would a park be romantic or what could you do at a park that would be more romantic thinking of a date mm. it's about it. well I don't know <laughs> Park. Well, it, if, Igor, if, if what, are, what acti Sorry. If you I, are, think I just need to remind everyone of something. Can we mute our microphones when we are not speaking? And if you mute it, just be sure to um, to unmute it when you speak or when I when I ask you a question. Okay? Because there's a lot of breathing and stuff like that. We even have a cat that is trying to get in on the class. 
I hate muting microphones because I can't hear people laugh, but if we're breathing and if we have a lot of noise in our background, then it makes it a little bit difficult, okay? Igor, what kind of activities might you do at a park that would be more romantic? To have a first kiss. A first kiss. <laughs> yes. You like public affection. <laughs> no, it's uh, the most romantic uh, place where uh, you can do this. Very good. Excellent. Amdi, what do you think? For what? Do you think that a park is a good place for a kiss? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> You're not afraid of public affection? No, no, no. This is a park. You can find some places here. You yeah, can that's hide true. behind a rock. <laughs> Hide behind a rock. <laughs> you could, right? You totally yeah. could. Miguel, what do you think? Do you think? Why do you think some people are afraid of public affection? Uh, because uh, I think it depends the, uh, on your personality, or if you are uh, shy. Uh, if you are shy, you will be shy with your <laughs> with your. Um, Girlfriend, um, I think depend it depends the of your personality. Okay, very good. Abdal Mosen, what other activities can you do in the park that are romantic? Uh, hanging out. Sorry. Yeah, I can't, I can't, there's so much noise, Aldomos, and I want to include you, but there's so much noise in the background, and I can't hear you. I think there maybe is music, you have a party going on in your house. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's a party happening, and I, we can't, I can't hear you, I'm very, very sorry. No, Let's this move is on. Amdi, could you read number eight for us? Number eight? Where is sorry. It? I'm Where is sorry. Number eight? Yes, number eight. Amy, me too. I like. I also like the new small, the new mall because it has some great stores, stores and the movie theater. Excellent. Could you read number nine as well, Amdi? Oh uh, yeah. What other? kinds of food do you like? Okay, very good. So, we're talking about idioms for dating, right? We're obviously on the topic of going on a date or something more romantic. Where would you take um, a girl? If you were going on a date, where would you take her? Jason, what kind of food? Tom Yam Kung. Tom Yam Kung food. What kind? My favorite food. Um, my, my favorite food, Tom Yam Kung. Whiskers? Yes. <laughs> okay, whiskey is okay. It's okay for her. Mm. Ahmed, what kind do you like? Uh, okay, uh, if it is a restaurant, yeah. Um, yeah. I think the time of dinner uh, will, would be fine. Any kind of dinner would be fine. Where yeah. would you not want to go? What kind of food would you say, nah, that's not really for a first date? <laughs> for example, uh, breakfast is not good. Especially if you're going on a date with Mina. He'd be half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend. <laughs> I think Mina like the uh, we can meet uh, in uh, playground maybe it will be fine for me. <laughs> I would take her to the gym. Take her to the gym to see if she could lift more weight than you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 to train using her as a bed training, you know. Or show his muscles. Yeah, to see if she has bigger muscles. I could take you, Mina, at the gym. If you took me to the gym, you'd be very, very sad. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'd bench press more than Mina. No, no, you kidding. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Okay, number 10. 
let's go to um, Igor. Could you read number 10 for us? I really like uh, Chinese. I have a knack for cooking Chinese food. Excellent. So let's say that word again. It's knack. The K is actually silent. Oh, I have a knack. Awesome. So what does it mean to have a knack for something, Igor? Mm, I don't know. This is idiom. This is an idiom. Does anyone know what it means? To be professional. Sorry? Go ahead, Mina. Go ahead. Maybe passion. Okay. Professional. Passion. To be professional. Professional. Experienced. I, I, in, interested. Experience. In, experienced. Interested. All fantastic ideas. So if you have a knack for something, it means you are very good at it. Okay? Amdi, what do you have a knack for? The cooking, you mean? The food? No. Anything. Anything food. at all. What do you have a knack for? What are you good at? Uh, I like the technologies and uh, something like this. Yeah, about uh, I, read, I I I would like to read about the technologies and I have to get the latest gadget. This is my uh, my neck for. Okay, very good. Bye, Abdul Mosin. I am very very sorry that you could not participate, but um. Hopefully next time your microphone will be working better, okay? Bye. <laughs> so, Amdi, I want you to say that using the expression, I have a knack. I have a knack. A knack? Yeah. That's correct? That is correct. I have a knack I, for. I have a knack for. And then the word that you have a knack for? The noun? I have, a, I have a knack for reading about technology. Okay. Or you could just say, I have a knack for technology. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah. Miguel, what about you? What do you have a knack for? Mm, I have a knack for uh, the films and go to the cinema, but it's, it's too expensive for me, and I prefer to... See to watch the films here in my uh, house, uh, home. I don't think we fully understand the meaning of the expression. That is something you enjoy doing. But if you have a knack for something, it's because you are talented, you are good at ah, it. Okay. okay. Okay? So what mm. do you have a knack for? What are you good at? Mm, I think uh, I have a knack for uh, programming. Uh, I like computer science and I like programming. Excellent. Perfect. I have a knack for computer programming. Uh, yeah. But uh, how will it be correct to say I have a knack uh, for or in? For. Or is, uh, in, it's not correct. No. It has to be I have a knack for and then okay. the action or the noun, okay? Okay. What about you, Igor? What are you good at? Uh, I have a knack for sales. Knack for sales. You're a good salesman. Yes. Excellent. Who else would like to share what they have a knack for before we move on? Me, me. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, I have a knack for investment. I have a knack for, for investment. Invest. Yeah. So you are a rich man. Uh try to be a rich man. <laughs> that cat has gotten a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is playing with him. <laughs> that cat is messed up. <laughs> okay, really good. So if you have an... Uh, playing, playing with the cat. Yes, a knack for the cat. Excellent. <laughs> Jason, I, I, am, I am so okay. happy you came to class today. Thank you. It brought with us a lot of joy. With the cat, yeah, without the cat, <laughs> forget it. But if you bring the cat, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Just joking. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Number 11. 
Let's see. Mina, have you read? Could you read number 11? Yes, I did, but I can read again. Really, I like to eat, but I don't know the first thing about cooking. What is something else that you do not know the first thing about, Mina? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, mo a moment to think about it, and your microphone's cutting out, so maybe you can type it into the chat as well, okay? okay. Mohammed. Mohammed, are you with us? Nope, I don't think so. Miguel, what is something you do not know the first thing about? Understand uh, girls? <laughs> uh, I do. Okay. <laughs> this I, is I, good. <laughs> this, Understand. This will not. Uh, my, my girlfriend <laughs> the, will not enjoy my, <laughs> my sentence, but <laughs> I don't know the first thing about girls. <laughs> The... Miguel, that is so humble of you. I love it. <laughs> Does anybody else feel like Miguel sometimes? Like they, you think you understand women and then suddenly you're like, nope, I don't get it. <laughs> yes, sometimes. Who'd like to give me an example? Well, I, I was that of him. I think Sorry? I don't know, you know, girls. I'm I'm not like him. I'm the contrary, the opposite. <laughs> I I think I you know I don't know them, but when I get to know a new girl, I found out that they are you know almost the same. We're all in the same. In a good way, you know. <laughs> in a good way. Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's. Cute. All of them. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, let's head over to number 12 and 13. Ahmed, could you read 12 and 13 for us? Okay, I will. 12. What kind of music are you into? 13. I like a lot of different kinds of music, but rock is still my favorite. I hit as many concerts as I can. Excellent. Very good. So, are you into means what? You are interested. Interesting. Yeah, Do you or like? You like something? Yeah. Excellent. Very good. So, Amdi, if I said to you, "What are you into?" How would you respond? Mm, to uh, uh, computer and the mobiles and technology. Excellent. That's exactly how you would answer. Igor, what are you into? Into the the sales. <laughs> I'm into sales. Mina, I know what you're going to say. You're into girls. So <laughs> I'm not even no, going to ask uh, you. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I'm no? into learning English. I'm so I can get learning. to meet uh, foreign girls. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, what about you? What are you into? Mm, uh, learning English also. For my work. Excellent. So you're, inter you're into improving your English, working on your yes. English. Yes. Very, very good. I'm s oh, Mohammed, he left. It's because I couldn't say his last name. He was offended. <laughs> I will get better, I promise. I have taught English to French people and to Spanish people, so this is a whole new world for me of names and yes. I'm enjoying it though. I have to say you guys are good students. You're lots of fun. You're doing great. It's nice. Now it says I hit as many concerts as I can. What does that mean? I went to go to. Yeah, so it's kind of like an expression. What else do you think you can hit? Can you think of anything else? Score. Participate. Hey, sorry, Andy? Participate. Participate. You can't hit participate. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying to what it means. Okay, very good. Now, if we're going to say what else can you hit, what does it mean, Amdi, if I said I need to hit the shower? Hit the shower? Take a not, shower? Not hit the shower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take a shower. Exactly, very good. So it's kind of a funny expression, right? Maybe I need to hit the gym. Mina, you can say I'm going to hit the gym. I need to hit my girlfriend. No, not funny. Not that good idea. <laughs> okay, no, I mean I... hit her uh, going with her to the cinema. No, that's not what that means. Don't say that. Especially with your foreign girlfriends. They won't be happy with you. No. I can't. Do, I can't say it. <laughs> Mina, if, me. you, if you hit your girlfriend, they will hit you back. <laughs> 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 no, she's okay. shy. She wouldn't do that. Let's go to number 14. Maybe, Miguel, you can read number 14 for us. Yes. Uh, I love concerts too, but nowadays they're usually a fortune. My friends, Sarah and I, are going to see you two next month. And 15? Mm, okay. Get out. I'm so jealous. Excellent reading. That was awesome, Miguel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So what does it mean if it's a fortune? What is she saying? What is she saying about concerts in general? They cost much. Exactly, Igor. What else would you say costs a fortune nowadays? Like someone said that to, to go to cinema. So use a fortune in a sentence to talk about the cinema. Um Nowadays, to go to cinema is usually a fortune. Perfect. Nicely done. Or you can say, going to the cinema costs a fortune. Yes. Another way to a say it. A lot of money. A lot of money, exactly. And in number 15, Amdi, you see the expression, get out. I'm so jealous. How could you read that with more emphasis to understand what's being said there? <laughs> get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. Exactly. So what is John saying when he says, get out? What does that mean? Get out. Uh, go, go out. Maybe? Go out. Yeah, right? Maybe like, shut up? Shut up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't talk about yes, that. Yes, like, shut up. Don't, no. don't tell me this. Don't do this. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like saying, you are not telling me the truth. That can't be true. I can't okay? believe you. Exactly, Amdi. That's it. I don't believe you. That's amazing. I'm jealous, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes in English we use the idiom, get out of town. <laughs> which is, means something similar. Like, get out of here. That can't be true. Okay, excellent work, you guys. Those are the idioms for today. I want you to remember, and I will make a note on the Facebook page as well, to have a knack for, right? That's a good one to remember. To not know the first thing about something, to get out, and a fortune. So we'll make a note of those ones, and we'll do a little review of them, okay? And, of course, okay. any feedback on the Facebook page would be awesome. But I have to go because I start... One more hour before my vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah congratulations. <laughs> so if I see you next hour, good. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. Take the care. Thank you. The topic Bye -bye. Have a for good next day. Yeah. The topic, it's about bikinis. For girls, this topic is or for who? Bikinis for whom? <laughs> the, the audience. <laughs> it's a surprise. Okay, we'll be there. Take care, everybody. Okay. Bye.